Today is about my top three tips for your data charts. Numbers, data and facts are extremely important and powerful to any business presentation. But not when they come across like this. With a collection of numbers like that, your audience will immediately tune out. It is simply too much to digest quickly. So here are my top three tips to make your numbers stand out and your presentation rock. First, highlight numbers. Suppose you were giving a presentation about beer consumption. For us Germans, this is an existential issue. Little spoiler here. Now imagine you find this table. Wow, that's actually great content. All the facts are there. It lists the countries with the most beer consumption. But it takes me far too long to digest. I need to look at this really closely to understand it. So why not highlight just the top three? When I saw that, I thought, wow, all three countries border each other. So you could also show the numbers like this. Global beer consumption. A challenge in the neighborhood. This will make it memorable, I am sure. Second, illustrate numbers. I looked up how much beer Germans drink in a year and came across this figure. Pretty big, isn't it? In a business context, we often have to deal with large numbers. But your audience doesn't know what to do with them. We often can't grasp such large numbers. That's why we have to make them concrete. So I did some maths. With 70 million adults in Germany, the annual beer consumption per person is 100 liters per year. That's something to start with. That means a case of beer every month. And that means, more or less, on average, every adult German drinks one glass of beer a day. I hardly drink any beer. So I'm really concerned about the consumption of my neighbors. Third, compare numbers. Give numbers a meaning by comparing them to something your audience knows. Numbers rarely speak for themselves, but if you benchmark them to something else, they become tangible. Suppose you are a bartender and you sold 10,000 liters of beer this week. 10,000 liters. Is it a lot or a little? If you want to make this number big, let's compare it with something big. 10,000 liters, that's a stack of beer cases as high as the Eiffel Tower. It really is. If you want to talk it down, you could say, in an Olympic swimming pool, 10,000 liters covers just one centimeter of the ground surface. To give numbers a meaning, you need a benchmark, something you can compare them to. A classical business example is this. You take the previous week with 11,000 liters of beer and you sold 9% less this week. Of course, many bosses don't want to hear that. What can you do now? One trick, you look at the longer term trend. And wow, it looks absolutely positive. Last week was very strong, but with 10,000 liters, we continue to build the momentum. You see, the power of numbers and the power of graphs can be super combined in a presentation. In the next video, I'll show you how to master this building block as well. Stay tuned and don't miss it. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel because the world deserves better presentations.